just nine hours. Visitors cannot fail to be seduced by Grenada's charm. Oh, it's stunning, it's gorgeous. It's really, really beautiful. And it's um, everyone's so friendly. That's what you, you really find. You're walking along and everyone's coming up just saying hi to you and pulling over their cars and just chatting to you. So it's really friendly. It's got the beaches, it's got the mountains, it's got little villages, it's got the contrast. It's got the music, steel drums. It's perfect. The contrast between a sort of pristine, absolutely serene beach, and then you go into what there is of a town, which is, you know, a bit more bustling, and you're back in its civilization. And then you go back into what seems like the wilderness, with the trees and the birds and the rainforest and the waterfalls. It really was quite something. And when it comes to accommodation, there's a wide choice on offer, as award-winning independent hotelier Sir Royston Hopkins explains. We have a lot of family-owned hotels. There are two large hotels on the island. And when I say large, 200 and 240 rooms. All the other hotels are 100 rooms and under. Most of the smaller hotels are owner-managed, family-run operations. And they're very unique properties. So we have a good array of boutique properties on the island, in addition to having very well-run, you know, medium-priced hotel accommodation. Grenada is a place that permeates the senses, the beauty of the landscapes, the scent of spice, the rhythms of steel pans, the temptations of world-class cuisine, the feeling of soft white sand between your toes, and above all, the genuine warmth and hospitality of the Grenadian people.